Today we're going to be looking at creating soft shadows in Blender 2.49. Uh, here we go, we're in the default view here. I'm just going to split these screens, highlight these. If you don't know how to split screens, watch my Blender basic tutorials from my website. Okay, now that I have that all set up how I like it, let's add a plane here. Let's scale that out. Move it down. We'll grab the default cube here. I'm going to scale it like so. Uh, S to scale and then Z on the Z axis. I'm going to make a tall pole here. And then I'll grab it and move it over here. We'll have a quick look at what this looks like. Here you can see the pole rendered out. I hit F12 to render, by the way. And you can see uh, it casts a shadow from our light source, but it's not very realistic looking. It's very stiff and straight. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to soften the edges to make it look a little more realistic. This will slow down rendering a bit, but uh, I think it's worth it if you're trying to go for a little more realistic look. I selected the light here, the default light source, and then I'm going to go to our shading window, which is F5 down here. I'm going to turn it to an area light. You can see our preview here got very bright, and you can see this line here, this pink line, which is our distance. If I hit F12 now to render, you're going to see everything is very, very bright, which is not what we want. Let's back up here a little bit. We're going to grab, move the light source back a little bit. And as I said, this pink line is the distance. If this pink line is going through your object, your object is going to be very bright. So we can come down here where it says dist for distance, and we'll change this. Let's try 10. That's better, the line isn't hitting the object. Let's hit F12 and see what that looks like. Much better. But once again, you tweak it for your project, move the light around, change the distance so you get the lighting how you like. But now let's work on the shadow a little bit. What we're going to do is we are going to change the samples up to 8. We'll hit F12 again and you'll see that this will slow down the rendering very much. But you can see already from the little bit we have rendered out that the the uh, shadow is softened. So it's the sampling that softens it, but uh, depending on how you want the light source to look, there's other things you can tweak. And one of those is the size of the light. So we'll let this finish out just this little bit so you can see what the shadow looks like at the end here. You can see it is much softer. And that alone improves the, the overall look of the shadow. But once again, as you can see, it slows down the rendering quite a bit. I'll hit Escape to cancel out of that. And let's change the size of the light. I'm going to change it to 2. And you can see around our light, there's a square now. That's the size of our light source where it's being cast from. We'll hit F12 now. And you'll see that the shadow is pretty much going to be kind of shorter. It's almost as though the... The light is wrapping around both sides of the pole a little bit more. Um, you can see a little bit there. I'm going to turn that size up a little bit more to make it a little more extreme so you can see it definitely. I'll change it to 4. That's going to be pretty big. That might be too big and we might actually lose our shadow completely. Um, there we go. You can see now that the shadow is very soft. And not only that, but you can see that the light is wrapping around both sides, causing almost a double shadow. Um, right here and here, which is good if that's what you want. Also remember that the positioning of the light makes a difference. If you move it back more or closer to your object, it's going to change it a bit. But once again, that is softening shadows in Blender 3D version 2.49. I also have a tutorial up on Blender 2.5. Uh, there should be an annotation somewhere in this video that will link you to that. Um, but once again, basically what we did was we changed our lamp to our light source to an area. Uh, and we changed the sampling up. And that's the basis of, um, of softening. Remember also we moved the light and changed the distance so it wasn't as bright. And size will change the size of your light source, obviously. Thank you for watching, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this, and I hope that you have a great day. Also check out our brand new forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum, and also visit us on IRC at, uh, we're on Freenode, and the channel is Films by Chris. There is a web-based 
IRC client. If you don't have an IRC client available with you right now, it's filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. I hope you have a great day and I hope you watch more videos.